I have a question for you guys. Yeah. Do you guys use signals when you change lanes? Yes. yes. Always, every time? Yeah. Always, every time. Why? Because I've all. noticed that, like, a lot of people don't. Yeah. Oh, like, I know. Like, a lot. I smog like, every time. Signal, mirrors, over the shoulder, go. Oh, I've never heard that before. <laughs> Everybody and welcome back to your favorite grooming podcast, another grooming podcast. I'm Juan Rivera. I'm Kat Graney. I'm Nathan Austin. And I'm Kathleen Austin. And we had so much fun talking to people and giving them a call and prank calling. That I didn't do any prank calls. Nathan did all the prank calls. He's good at it. But it was a lot of fun. So we're gonna do it again. Yes. It was. Yeah. It was super fun. But first. I'm going to call my husband <laughs> so we can get a, uh, our question of the day. Hmm. I like the ringing. It sounds cool. Mm-hmm. Hello. 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 Oh, hello, everybody. What are you doing? Uh, I'm on Lego.com. <laughs> what are you looking at? Uh, take a break. What are you looking for? Something. Oh. <laughs> are you going to create your own uh, thing? <laughs> I'm going to, I'm inspired to create something and I don't know if it's going to come out the way I want it to, but did you guys ever watch, did you ever watch that show? They, it's like Lego, Lego Masters. Build? Yeah. I always thought that was cool. Yes. Of course, Roddy has watched it. We did. We watched that with the kids. Yeah. It's a good show. I fully enjoyed it. Was it. Really, I, I'm getting back into Lego. I, I turned from my Pokemon for a little bit and I've been heavy on a Harry Potter Lego. Or mm. Lego sets. My no, brother's really into Lego. It's stars. kind of upsetting that Pokemon went with Mega Bloks. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If, I'm like, if they were what? Legos, I would, uh, that would be crazy. I um I was at Target and I was like, oh, I'm gonna buy Pokemon things for my hubby because he's so cute. And I bought him. I was, but I was looking at Legos and then I saw a Pokemon thing and it was Mega Bloks. I was like, what the fuck is this? I know. <laughs> I bought it anyway because it was Pokemon, and then we returned it because Ronnie didn't want it. <laughs> I, like, uh, I don't. You already had, had it. Oh, here. I you just wasn't it. observant. And I, I already know, had it. It was a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, my bad. Oh, that's sweet though. Yeah, I'm I'm so nice. Yeah, it's sweet. <laughs> so nice. We were turned it, and I bought more Harry Potter Lego. So, it was- do you want to ask us our question? Are you available to oh, ask yeah, us a question? Yeah, of course. Okay. Okay, but uh, this one's interesting. But mm. uh, take four minutes and tell your partner life story in as much detail as possible. Wait, wait, wait! Say that one more time. It's take four minutes and tell your partner. Uh, tell your partner your life story in as much detail as possible. Okay, oh. hold on. I got to get a timer ready for you all. Oh, no. Guess what? Mine is going to be short and simple. What if we do four <laughs> minutes total? That's yeah, true. maybe a, a minute each. There you go. If I'm just going to be. <laughs> <laughs> so speed talk. Okay, I'm going to start a one minute timer. Who are we going to start with? Who's going to go first? I'll go first. Ready? Yeah. Set. Go. I was born on October 21st, 1989. Wait, oh, you're wow. supposed to be talking about him. Oh, I'm supposed to be talking about him? I thought right? you were supposed to be talking about yourself. No, it's just no, tell, it's your partner. Partner. tell your partner, tell your your life partner story. your okay. life story. Okay, I'm sorry. sorry. Yeah, okay, so Kathleen is explaining her story. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm sorry. Story. I misunderstood. Okay. Are you ready? No. <laughs> <laughs> I had to restart it. Okay. Okay, go. go. Okay. I have a mom and a dad. Uh, when I was born, my dad was in the Navy, like so many and of us do. Uh, my mom was a stay-at-home mom. I have an older brother and a younger brother. I do now have a fourth younger sister from a different marriage. Um, I grew up with both of my parents. We had led a pretty normal life. Once I was around nine, my dad stopped being in the Navy, and he started working for the government, um, so we stopped moving around so much. Uh, I did find moving around a lot helped me to make a lot of friends quicker. Um, although I don't have, except for Kat, I don't have any lasting friends. Um, I'm all, wait, 20 seconds, else? 20 ah! seconds, 17 seconds now. Okay. Um, and then I, I mean, high school, everything was pretty predictable. I lost my virginity when I was 17, oh my um, God. to somebody I had been with for six what? months. So it was love. <laughs> um, but, uh, <laughs> and now I'm married with three children. Three Never children, mind. two children. <laughs> Nathan included Three Nathan children. In, I included Nathan in that one. I was like, who's the third kid? Because I was thinking about my family because there's uh, three kids. There was three kids growing up. That was really hard, guys. 
Good luck. Show them the things. Maybe that's why it's supposed to be four minutes. <laughs> that's why it's supposed to be four minutes. That was rough, y'all. <laughs> Are you ready? Okay, Juan. Set. Go. Hello, my name is Juan Rivera. I was born on June 14th, 1987. I was born on Flag Day. Um, I was born to two immigrant parents that came from Mexico. I grew up extremely Mexican. Um, so when I went to elementary school uh, around a whole bunch of white kids, it was a huge culture shock for me, but I think I adapted well. I did very well in school and tried to get as involved as possible. I was in the GATE program, the Gifted and Talented Education, because I was so smart. I joined Mm -hmm. band, um, so I was in band all through middle school and high school. I was band president because I'm a nerd. Um, I was super involved in high school. I did like student government. I did link crew, um, did assemblies and that kind of thing. So I think that's where I get all my organization skills from and like bossiness from. Uh, I became a groomer when I was 19, and I've been doing it ever since. I love it so much. Uh, I have a successful business, a successful marriage, and uh, lots of doggies that I love very much, lots of friends that I love very much. I want to continue growing and learning and be the best person I can be. Woo! Good job. Good job. I want to redo. (laughs) (laughs) You want everybody got to think while I did my minute. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) All right, Kat. Oh, me or Nathan? I guess we should do Nathan first because I feel like Nathan's going to be a little depressing and then Kat can like lift us up a little. <laughs> uh, no, I'm all just go. Just you go. Ready? Mm-hmm. Set. Go. All right, my name is Nathan Austin. I was born in July in 1986. Uh, I was born in San Jose and I moved to Rio Linda where uh, we lived at like a dope house. <laughs> and uh, uh, my my parents split, and my dad left when I was five. And I grew up with my single mother, and um, I uh, struggled throughout school. Um, I don't freaking know. We moved to, moved to the Bay Area when I was um, ten or eleven. Um, struggled in school, dropped out of high dropped out of high school. Uh, didn't do very good. Got addicted to drugs. Um, met. Started dog grooming out of a fluke. Uh, met Katie, my wife, and fell in love with her. And she like straightened me out and uh, seen good stuff in me. And now we have a mar- we're married and we have two kids, and not three, two, <laughs> and uh, a successful business and a home and a loving yep. marriage. I don't know. I guess. Yay! Yay. God, that was hard. It See, is hard. I told you it's hard. I'm like, man, I had so. M- now I think of like so many things. I'm like, I was in drama, and I was, you <laughs> well, know. Well, it's okay. I've listened to all you guys, and I still don't know what I'm gonna say. My I could, I went, If I had four minutes, it'd be totally different. Yeah. Okay. If you w- side note, if anybody wants to hear our full four minutes. I think that's something that we could put out like online later. If somebody like <laughs> is like, "Hey, I'm really interested in your full four minutes," let us know. So I don't know if I can talk about myself for four minutes. You go go through everything catalog. Like Nathan, uh, like it was my really first period, and I was nine. It was <laughs> really <laughs> hard. Katie virginity, all right? It was like. <laughs> It was really hard not to interrupt him and be like, "You were born prematurely," and they had to do, they had to like give right, you, right. All, you know what I mean? So like all of these things. So I feel like he's like, "Don't tell people I was born premature, bitch." Yeah. <laughs> well, we're giving everyone, everyone our birth dates. So yeah. Like, hmm, well, not Nathan. Nathan's July. just July. <laughs> July. Guess. I thought like I don't want no one stealing my. No, he said it. He said it. No, he said no. July nineteen eighty six. Oh, okay. July eleventh. No. He's 21st. 21st. 23rd. Well, now everyone has it. It's okay. July 23rd. I'm, I'm cutting it. It's okay. I don't care. <laughs> everyone else is doing it. Fuck it. Yeah. Fuck it. All right, Kat, okay, okay. are you ready? No. It's hard. Oh, wait, are we going to make Ronnie go? It's going to go, it's gonna go yeah, faster after. than you think. No, I just want to listen. No, we'll make you do them in a minute, too. Okay. Okay, ready, Kat? Yes. Go. I'm Kat Graney, Catherine Graney, uh, born March of. 1988 uh, to my loving two parents who have been together 38 years, 30, mm-hmm. almost 40 years. Mm-hmm. And uh, I live in Newark until we moved into our current house in Union City. I still live there um, with my parents. Um, I. You're running out of time. You're halfway done. I know. Already. You I don't even, know you're, you're still a baby. You're still a baby. You gotta go. Okay. I went to school. I graduated <laughs> high school. Um, I was a loser in school. Um, so I was just a teacher's pet. Yeah, I was. And I started grooming at 16 at PetSmart, and I've been grooming since then. And I oh god, I only had nine seconds. Uh, and then I'm a single mom to a beautiful little girl. 
uh, Ellie, and uh, yeah, I like to show dogs. See, a minute Time. is a lot shorter than you think, yeah. right? I didn't know what to say. Oh, You're missing a lot like, of stuff. I like to show dogs. It wasn't <laughs> what you like. It was yeah, my life. Was I like see, to show dogs. But it's a big part of my life. <laughs> no, it's a big, it is a big part of your life. I'm over here. So and see, I I'm like thinking about her, too. I'm like... And we met in. Uh, I know Katie had everything. Katie gave us her virginity school. and her, <laughs> well, her friends. No, but for Kat, you know, I'm like we went to veterinary assistant school together, and um, I'm not good at thinking on the fly. Well, obviously, my... I think mine Clearly. was the most terrible. To be fair, but I went first, so. Oh, well, mine was pretty terrible. Yeah. I'm gonna no. edit yours know, to you know, be second, I didn't, so you I could didn't, look extra bad. Katie, <laughs> Katie. I'm like, I didn't even tell anybody I'm a product of adult divorce. <laughs> Katie, I think we could. Uh, you're just being nice. We could all agree that Katz was the worst. <laughs> you know, she, she was still a baby when she was 30 seconds in. I know. Uh, I didn't know what to I say. was already banned by 30 seconds <laughs> in. I'm just a baby. I'm just a baby. <laughs> okay, Ronnie. Okay, bring us start home. Start a timer yeah, for bring, Ronnie. Okay, up okay ready? Ronnie, wait, wait, turn my she's timer not off. in there. Hold okay, on. Ready? Wait. I don't know what to say. Wait, I don't okay, know you can't be well, worse than me. We. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Uh, my name is Ronnie. My parents named me after Ronnie Van Zant, the lead singer of Leonard Skinner. And I was born oh. on September 2nd, Labor Day. That's fucking That was cool. a Monday. Um, my favorite color wow. is green. Why am I telling you my favorite color? That's nothing to do with my life. Um, 45 <laughs> uh, seconds. I grew, up, uh, my, uh, I grew up with my parents and my siblings. I'm the youngest of three. I am the baby. Uh, I have old oh, niece and nephews. I don't know why you need to know that either. Uh <laughs> 30 seconds. Uh, I have a husband. Uh, I went to school at some point. Um, I like dogs. <laughs> uh, 20 seconds. Say. Competitive cheerleader. Uh, yeah, I was a cheerleader. Yay me. Uh, you like gymnastics. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I like gymnastics too. Olympics, yay. Uh, 10 yeah. seconds. And then and then I'm now I'm here laying in my bed. <laughs> Yeah, well, we're here. Living life. Living life. Yeah, buying Legos. <laughs> You're buying Legos. Oh, oh there you go. Okay. Congratulations. You did it. Yeah, I didn't mention anything about my brothers. <laughs> no. Well, I really like one Katie to, has like, three kids. So you know, I really we wanted... don't know where the other one is. <laughs> <laughs> you know why? Because I was like, right. I was like, I got to get through it. I got to get through it. And I was a, I'm a three child household. Yeah. All right. Well, I am too. Yeah. So. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, oh, okay. Who is get that? Get Ronan, Ronan. Going, Katie. Because he will destroy stuff. Okay, well, thank you so much, baby. I love you. Talk to you soon. Thank you for calling bye. in. You're welcome. I guess you didn't call. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't hear, but it sounded funny. <laughs> okay, anyways. Any who's also. Do we want to start with a prank, or do we want to start with a regular call? Well, Nathan's a prankster. <sighs> you can do a prank. Okay. Grant Field Brewer, this is Allie. How can I help you? Hi, Allie. I was calling for a quote for my dog. Okay. Do you know how much your dog weighs? Uh, he's 130 pounds. Okay. And what kind of dog is it? He's a Argentina Dogo Doodle. It's a an a, a Dogo mixed with a poodle. Okay. You said a hundred and what? Thirty pounds. This would be his first grooming. And how old is the dog? He just turned a year. My breeder said I should wait till a year. He comes with his own basket muzzle, by the way, so you don't have to worry about that. We be thinking about a hundred and fifty to two hundred. Um, Price obviously would depend on his condition. Um, well, I, I was trying to clip his him behavior at, and the time that it would take. I was trying to clip him at home, but he was he was trying to bite me a lot. So I, I just kept I just kept trying, and he every time he tried to bite me, I would stop what I'm doing. And I uh, okay. I just, just kind of don't know. Um, uh, so I'm I'm not quite sure uh, since it is his first groom though. I, I'm worried because his coat feels really like. Wishy, like a pillow almost. Like I can't get my fingers to his skin, and but I don't want him any shorter than two inches. Okay, um, chances are I'd have to do like a consultation to see what he looks like. Um, uh, we could evaluate his behavior and his coat type then. Um, 
and see if it's something I could help you with. Um, I am also a one-on-one -on -one groomer, so it might be difficult for me to groom him, to be honest, um, because I don't have anyone to help me with such a large dog with um, possible behavior issues and matting. Um, it might not be a good fit for me. Um, I could refer you to some of the other local shops that have multiple groomers. Um, if you'd like me to send you over okay, their on. information. Hold on just a second. Your answers, uh -huh. are, your answers are so good. And actually, this is, this is actually Nathan Austin from, with AGP, another grooming <laughs> podcast. <laughs> uh, I'm just kind of like, oh. I was just trolling you a little bit. <laughs> um, but I really loved all the answers you gave. You did a very Thank good you. job. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Did you know? Did you, did, can you recognize Nathan's voice? Yes. Uh, <laughs> so she turned it Damn. on. Oh. She knew. Uh, well, wait, well, wait, you did I a listen, very I good job. I listened to the podcast, so I was like, the more outlandish you got, I was like, um, <laughs> <laughs> wait, we're gonna have this to, is real. <laughs> we're going to have to like put a filter on his voice next yeah. time so people can't tell. You don't want an <laughs> Argentina dogo doodle? <laughs> No, no, no. He's never been no, groomed. No, that, that sounded terrifying. When he said it, I started to envision it, and I was like, oh, no. And then when he said it, I, was, I gave him a signal to do this, because, you know, the ones the that come in with a muzzle. <laughs> yeah, I, I wish you could have seen my face. <laughs> well, um, so, you know, we thought it would be good to talk to you, because I know you said that um, you work during the weekends. Um, and you did yeah. have some questions for us. So I was like, perfect. We can play around a little bit and then we can also <laughs> answer your questions. Um, hope you don't mind being on the Yeah, air, I hope you don't mind. Um, <laughs> no, not at all. <laughs> you did have great answers, though. You did. Wonderful answers. Um, that's Thank the, you. That's the kind of thing I like to hear. So um, if you wanted to ask us your question, we can definitely um, chit chat. So um, as I said in the message I sent you earlier. Mm -hmm. um, I used to be an academy instructor at PetSmart. Um, nice. right on. One of the things that I, I miss a lot, I mean, I really, really enjoyed teaching. Yeah. Um, it just, I just loved it so much. Um, and so one of the things that I have been looking into, you know, as, as us groomers get older, you know, we might not be able to always be grooming 135 pound doodle. <laughs> yes. um, <laughs> so I have been looking into possibly creating some sort of training program. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. We have a local trade school, like a tech school, um, that has programs like nails and hair and welding. And, you know, they mm. offer like truck driving and things like that. Um, and they're continually expanding their programs uh, and offering um, different, you know, tech certificates. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm wondering what you guys think about that possibility, uh, if you think it would be something that I should pursue, or if you think that, you know, we're good where we're at. You know, I don't know. That's my I, question. I, I think... <laughs> The more education, the better. Yeah, I think yeah. that's a great idea. Well, and I think there are a couple of groomers that are like already starting to facilitate somewhat similar things. So, like if you're if in your area that is something that is lacking, then I would definitely um, try and jump on it and maybe um, contact those other people that are already kind of starting to do that in their area too um, to make sure everybody's kind of like on the same page and doing the same thing. <laughs> Um, and I'm sure that they probably would have some stuff like already in place that might help you along too. Well, I, I think it's cool that you have a place that already is facilitating these hands-on skills, right? Yeah. yeah. And cause those are becoming rarer and rarer and having a place where people have options to explore different careers, I think is awesome. And yeah. you have experience teaching already, right? You said you were an academy trainer. How long were you doing that? Um, I did Academy for probably four years. Okay. Yeah. Nice. So not a ton. Um, I, w I obviously, I haven't done any sort of like certifications. Mm -hmm. Um, 
that's something obviously I would have to get done okay. um, and would want to get done. Yeah. Um, and another thing I thought about would be offering those like that would be the education. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah. like using their books, using, you know, and we could offer different levels and, you know, start with AKC and then move up to international, you know, things like that. Yeah. Um, but I'm just wondering if you guys think that would be a good idea or plausible or something I think the, the industry would need. Yeah, there is some companies that are doing like I think there's groomer curriculum, right? That is starting to go mm-hmm. into colleges Good as curriculum. well. So yeah. I don't think it's a bad idea at all. I think it's a good idea. The more education, the better. Um, uh, as long as you're te- like, and I have faith in your knowledge, but as long as you're teaching stuff that is that is proper, you know, I think it's a great idea. Mm-hmm. And up to date, mm-hmm. you know. You you had mentioned that you wanted to get certified. Are those things that you would want to get done before you delve into? this type of thing um i would i would think so yes um just so that i have my own credentials to go to you know a larger school and say hey i want to develop this program can you invest in me because obviously it would be a huge ordeal to create the facilities and and offer the curriculum you know what i mean that would be a huge investment you know for them yeah but i think it's possible and i think people would want to do it yeah. yeah, absolutely. The and, more accessible it is, I think, the better. And it being a, a, like an actual, like if she, you said it was like trade schools already doing it, some mm-hmm. you know, different programs. I think having that at a place like that would be great too. Mm-hmm. It's not like a like a corporate where people are coming in and out and in and out, and you have to, you know, you when you learn how do I do this? Different companies and different places teach different things, right? And I feel like if you yeah. are starting the program, I mean, on your own, you can really kind of assess what is really important and you know the progress that you need to be teaching at does that make sense yeah mm-hmm. yeah yeah english yeah my second language don't make fun of me well, i think most i think most people are, are just or most people are doing pet trims yeah. yeah right and like while um you don't have to be like educated in right. in every dog breed to teach someone how to do a, a teddy bear head on a well, and I think a huge portion of it is safety, yeah. right? Is mm-hmm. teaching people proper safety procedures, how to properly use a pair of clippers and scissors, um, and proper, proper bathing prep. And drying. Yeah, yeah, proper bathing and drying. And that's a huge part of the job um, and learning to do those things before moving on to like breed cuts and other things like that. Yeah. So having a good basis and then if they want to seek out higher education um, later is is a great start. Yeah, I like the idea of it having levels, right? Because mm-hmm. yeah. you can even do like a basic like bather course, right? Mm-hmm. Or, and then you yep. can move on to, you know, basic pet trims and then more breed standards and master levels. I, th- I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you think of that. The, the biggest educator, I, I believe, in America is... PetSmart. The corporations, yeah. yeah. They educate the yeah. most amount of groomers. So mm-hmm. if you can take what they're teaching and, like, build upon it and, like, mm-hmm. improve it or, you know, like, then where there could be no harm in that, right? Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Did you work your way up? And I think that offering – sorry. No, you go I ahead. I think offering um, classes where someone could actually sign up, you know, obviously they're going to invest in themselves. Mm-hmm. Um but I know as my, myself, I was in college when I was a bather and I didn't go to academy for three years. I was a bather for three years. Yeah. yeah you must have just been because so good. I, <laughs> I was very good. I'm just kidding. It, it, it um, takes a while to learn hey, to that, bear a dog yeah. yeah, but I was, uh, I was a bather um, for two and a half years before I started as a groomer. Just because I couldn't fully give all of my time to academy, you know? Because mm-hmm. I was only wanting to work part time, you know, so I think offering something where it could be like night classes or after their job or, you know, something where more um, single moms who have issues with daycare um, oh, could yeah. come in That's a and do idea. this, you know, because because mm-hmm. like right now I work at my home. And the reason I quit PetSmart is because I have two small children. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and daycare is crazy expensive oh yeah so i work at home but i can still make my schedule around my kids Mm -hmm. um take them to school pick them up from school um but i'm right here with them you know so i think that would be an amazing thing to offer to 
moms to, yeah, you know, bring income in. Cause I know so many people are like, I need a stay at home job, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. and I think it would be something that would be worthwhile. Oh, did we lose you? Hello? Um, it's not coming through no more. Right, row. I'm going to call you right back. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Technical difficulties. Roots. Hello, it is us again. <laughs> Hello. Hello. We're so sorry. We're so sorry. We're having technical difficulties and we can't reconnect my phone to the roadcaster for some reason. So you're just on speaker. <laughs> I think we're about done. Yeah, we just wanted to call you back and say thank you so much for being a good sport and chatting with us and um, good luck with your future endeavors. We hope to hear more about it. Thank you. All, All right, right, have a great good. day. You too, thank you. Bye. 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 What's that dog barking? Yeah. I know. She's probably like, I have my own problems right now. Oh, we didn't even fucking. What? I think it's recording. Is that one recording? No, No. right? No. Fuck. Okay, well, we could just say it. Let's record. (laughs) We're so sorry, Allie, that we got disconnected. We were having tough nickel difficulties and then we forgot to press record when we called her back to say sorry <laughs> and so it's not even on there but thank you for chatting with us and being technical a good difficulties sport on technical difficulties oh, yeah, brain yeah, difficulties yeah. as well yeah i never want to do this ever again i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> anyway we'll figure it out for next time but um we can't be perfect all the time guys we can't be perfect all the time <laughs> far, we're far from perfect okay well, uh-huh. since we're having some technical difficulties, that's our phone calls for the day, <laughs> <laughs> which is fine. That was fun. Um, at least it was like a prank and a question. Yeah. So it was a twofer. I, I think that like I finding th- a way yeah. to get it in like either like uh, community colleges or um, trade schools or different things like that, getting grooming more accessible to get like like we talked about, like those safety standards and how to use equipment properly and prep work and stuff like that. I do think that that is um, a good idea. Um, I think like reaching out to other people in the industry that either are like already doing it or have um, more experience or different things like that would be um, really beneficial because we want to make sure what's being taught is like the proper education mm-hmm. and like the the good stuff but um i don't think like it's a bad thing no no not at all i think having that resource too is an excellent portal for her right mm-hmm. to reach more people and have your curriculum like printed out and accessible to people because people who are looking for job options right if they're looking through say a catalog right like if i'm looking at community college or trade school or whatever and i'm looking through and it's like oh I like dogs. Maybe yeah. this is something I can do mm-hmm. and start learning about it and maybe discover that maybe it isn't for me. Like how we went to veterinary tech um, assistance courses. Right. Right. But like, yes, that wasn't we decided that wasn't a really a path for us, that assistant program. But right. but we loved animals. But and we that's loved what animals. drew it to us. Yeah. And then we were able to you what my phone. We were able to use that as a. um like we were like, oh, we do love animals. Like, but this is yeah, this is not the right path for us. And but some people it was it a was. foundation, right? Yeah, and I did. I you know we learned stuff from it. So even if they, I mean, because we've had plenty of people come to our salon um, and apply as bathers, and then like, oh, this is not what I thought. Yeah, you know. So I do think it's smart. I think it's good because if you're not being, you don't have to go into salon and dedicate. Mm-hmm. You know, oh, I'm taking the spot that someone else could have right Mm -hmm. right so you can be like oh i've already stepped into this i'm curious to see how something like that would work right because like we talked about um on our previous episode with jorge um where uh, you know he said like he was bathing for so long and like building this like foundation right and um you know, I do agree, right? Like, I have bathers in my salon. I don't consider them fully trained for, like, I mean, it can take a year. It could take more before mm-hmm. I feel that they are totally confident with, like, all different coat types, different temperaments, different, um, you know what I mean? Like, learning how to do everything, bathe properly, blow dry properly, brush properly, nails properly. Like, it takes so long to gain proper skills and all of that. So I am curious how a school setting would work like that because, like, 
So I would assume it's similar to the ROP program we took, mm -hmm. where it's like a classroom the first half, right? Mm -hmm. And you're learning about all these different things. And then the second half is maybe like an internship program, like how we did with the veterinary classes. And so that you're learning the hands-on stuff. Right. But like I said, uh, but that's why I said like, I'm curious because I don't even feel like, I feel like it could take up to a year of like full time working in a salon to gain those skills just to be a proficient bather. So then learning in yeah. that short period of time, prep and like clipper and scissor and like all, cause it's not just that you're learning dog body language. You're learning like yeah. anatomy, you're learning mm -hmm. health, you're learning all the different coat types and you know, like, I just think that's like a lot. So yeah. I'm just curious um, if anybody already does schools or is already, I know we have friends who are like working on curriculums and different things. I am, am curious, genuinely, not in a negative way, yeah. but just in the sense that, like I said, I, I feel like just becoming a good bather can take a year or more. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe it could be like an internship program, right? Where mm -hmm. you, you can start the internship in the end of your schooling period, right? But then they can take you on if they so decide as like a hired mm -hmm. like bather or something right. where you can learn those skills and maybe work on other skills at the same time. Mm -hmm. Or possibly, um, I lost my train of thought there. But yeah. like, but like you're <laughs> like gaining credits as you're, you're like, yeah, you're like learning along interning. the way. Uh, yeah, I definitely don't think you're ready to be a full groomer, like something like a pet smart thing where you had to accomplish the hundred dogs right i don't know if it's still like that but right like i think they said it's more now i think it's 200 now i think it's okay. like 200 and i think now. it's like a six month well and then thing. you can't you can't i mean they don't send you to grooming school until you've been like a bather yeah. for so i am just genuinely curious um how that works because um i would hate to like oh a six-week course and then like at the end of six weeks they're like and now i'm a certified groomer yeah because yeah. that's just not enough time yeah so I'm, you know, like I said, I'm, I'm curious in a good way because I do think it could be super beneficial to help the public um, because we need more groomers. They, they say our industry is growing too fast for how many people are getting into it, but it is such a skilled trade. Yeah. But uh, like even maybe people who don't even want to become groomers, maybe they just want to become better pet parents. Can That's do true. It. Yeah. That's yeah. a good point. I so. wonder how many people would... Wa not want to learn from PetSmart, but would want to learn from a trade school, yeah. you know? So I feel like that would open the doors for a lot of people that would want to learn a different way. So I think as long as Allie has the resources to back it up, mm -hmm. go for it. Yeah. yeah. Go for I'm it. glad she for said sure. she wants to certi master certify and stuff because that'll be a good Well, she could take yeah. that, the, her learning too, and make that the curriculum well, part exactly. of the curriculum. Yeah. I mean, I'm, she can't, she can't take it obviously word for word or anything, but but just yeah. Or I mean, she basis. could contact them t as well, right? Yeah. Um, because I know she had mentioned in her message that she would love to be like a certifier for um, these different companies. So yeah. if she continues to grow and learn, and she could maybe potentially get herself in that position, um, that would be very cool. Yeah. Um, so, you know, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Yeah. You know? Go get them, Allie. Yeah. Get them. Let get us em. know. Like Keep I said, updated, these, yeah. these are questions that I have that I'm just bouncing Generally off, curious, you know, yeah. like I'm just I'm, I'm wanting to know about all these different things because I do think it's a great idea. So mm -hmm. anyway, anyway, moving Did you get on. It to work? No, it won't even pair to it now. Yeah, I just Can you give, give me the plug. Well, since we have time. Yeah. So I did travel up to Washington. Yes, this, uh, that's where I was headed. Yeah, Washington with uh, your guys' mentor. And I guess she's Danica. my mentor, too, Danica. Because yeah. she's just so awesome. I know, she does know a surprising amount about Bichons. <laughs> <laughs> well, she said she used to work for a handler that no, I specialized with Bichons. Like, so she knows. Yeah, we even made her go in the ring with a special because the handler was stuck in the other ring. So we're like, get in, Danica. All the time, <laughs> yeah. Well, like, I remember when I first started working with her on Scotty's and I was like showing my English cocker and she was like, oh, you need to blow dry the hair like this. And she's like, Sh you know, and I was like, what the hell? Like, why yeah, do you she know knows everything about everything? She knows so much. She's Bullshit. such a wealth of knowledge. <laughs> I she's such an awesome person. She like blows my mind. Like she, she's amazing. Yeah. she knows so much about so many things, but then she still goes to classes. Oh, she's and so, still yeah. like she was took cla you never classes at Super learning. Zoo a couple years ago, yeah, and then yeah. she goes to like the, I remember we took a carry class together, yeah. and she was there. Like it's really cool that someone of her like caliber. caliber and like her knowledge is still like a forever student. 
Because I feel oh, like yeah. that's how you continue well, yeah. to yeah. grow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. she's. I agree. And be with badass you. like Danica. Well, yeah, yeah she's badass. incredible. Well, and keep up to date. Yeah, because things are changing and morphing all the time, right? Yeah, but uh, I really admire her. So yeah. I drove. They're morphing. Morphing, my <laughs> morphing Power <laughs> Rangers. <laughs> so you drove up there. And I drove up there with my child and Danica's child because Danica was judging in Texas. Yes, and was meeting me up there. So I made the 13 hour drive. <laughs> Funny story was Danica. So I drove up after work and I drove like four and a half hours. Right. And I stopped at this rest stop. That's it's like a nice new rest stop. And it had like a little dog park and everything. Um, so I stopped there at like 1 a.m. and nap for a couple hours. Um, <laughs> and then Danica gave me she's like, oh, go to this Costco because it's um it's a great deal and it's on the way, right? So I plugged that in, not a realizing. Great deal for what? The gas. It was like three bucks. Oh. Hmm. I didn't realize that it was behind me because I just pressed the address and go. So I drove oh. back an hour <gasps> and then oh, had to drive no. back up. And I was Why'd like, Why'd you do that? Dumbass. I didn't realize <laughs> up there in Oregon, it's like all forest. It all yeah. looks the same. Ouch. And I didn't, because I didn't press it into the route, I just clicked on the address she gave me. Ouch. And didn't realize it was behind me. Yuck. Until I was driving back and I was like, I did this already. I've been here. So when <laughs> you got onto the freeway and then you went back they all you got onto the freeway going the other way, <laughs> you didn't <laughs> think like, hmm. Mind you. I might have just come from No, no, that no. Way. So this rest stop wasn't <laughs> like most of the rest stops where you just kinda like drive in and out. Mm. It was when you get off the freeway, mm. go around a roundabout up and you park. Oh, okay. you got all discombobulated. Yeah. And so I just didn't think about it. Mind well, you, also, I you had gotten in at yeah. 1 a.m. I was leaving at 6 a.m. I slept in a chair like this. <laughs> and I was very uncomfortable. And it was cold. And I was just out of it, right? So I just yeah. started. I just tapped the address and started following my navigation, reala- not realizing. And I was like, mm. yuck. So that wasted <sighs> that two sucks. hours of my life. Um, but anyways, it was fine. The ride was fine. Um we get there, but it's super hot up there. Mm. And um, they had this, like, I got a grooming space when this giant, like, dome tent. Mm-hmm. Mm. But it was hot in there during the day. So we washed and dried the dogs. And even though you're not supposed to groom in the main hall, we were grooming in there. And we we're just yeah. picking up all the little hairs because yeah. it was. Yeah, better than it was like 95 degrees in this tent. And they had fans. But one of the fans was also doing that mm. thing the whole time. And I was like, okay. But uh, punch it. <laughs> so we would go groom inside and just pick up our little hairs. Um, People do it all the time. Yeah, but it was air conditioned in there. It was really nice. It, it was a pretty fairground and everything. Um, we had a good time. Katie's doggy was tell. Well, um, we've been we've been waiting because she um, our Disa our Wheaton bitch. Um, she only needed one major to finish. And so majors in our area are just hard to find for Scotties. Um, so, you know, we've been kind of just like waiting around for a good show that might have majors. Um, so this particular show um, was a terrier specialty on the very first day. Um, so, you know, Danica was like, well, let's just, up, you know, like, let's try right let's see if we get majors um and the first day it was a major but only a crossover major um for so that would mean that um the boys had the major and my bitch would have to get best of winners to get that major um so i was kind of like ah we're not gonna get it it's a terrier specialty and like i'm sure there's gonna be nicer dogs um you know so i was pleasantly surprised when i saw that danica was calling me because she only calls me if my dog actually wins um usually she'll you know i'll message her later in the day if i don't hear from her and i'll be like my dog lost right you know and then she'll be like yeah i was busy your dog lost um you know and she um was uh video calling me and i was like oh, okay that's weird you know uh, we don't normally video call each other and she had the two you know the first place and the winners and i was like are those my dogs and she's like yeah and then she's like but don't forget for bitches it was only two points today and i was like well that's okay i'm still just grateful she won on the specialty you know like that's nice you know and then she puts down the best of winners she's like how about that one you know and i was <laughs> like that's the one we needed Yay! so um i mean pending um AKC approval. Uh, she will be my first bred by champion, um, which of course I had like picked one of the hard. You know, Wheaton is like yeah. a very hard is, color. Is. 
Um, and I can't tell you how many times I've groomed this dog and literally been like, Nathan, take her away from me because I can't <laughs> even look at her anymore. I've questioned my abilities as a stripper. Like you really don't know what you're doing. What the fuck is this? Like Jesus, you know, so uh, she has really pushed me. I've learned a lot with this dog. Um, so it, it meant a lot, you know, like, um, and it was nice because she got that major under a breeder judge. Um, so that was really like validating where I was like, I didn't, you know, cause I, I obviously got guidance from Danica when I was picking through the litter, but, um, ultimately it was my choice. So I picked this dog. Um, you know, and there was definitely plenty of times where I questioned myself, like, did I do the right <laughs> thing? Did I pick the right dog? Should I have like, not, nah? you know? So, um, it's just, it was a really nice feeling. I'm mm. very proud of myself. I'm um, grateful to Danica and Kat for taking her to get that major, um, you know, and we'll see, you know, I'm going to put her away. She's just about to be two. So we'll put her away, do her health testing, maybe breed her, uh, you know, in like a year or so. Um, and if she looks decent, maybe we'll special her someday, but she's kind of a turd. So <laughs> maybe not. She's in the, she's good in the show ring. She is a good, she's very fiery, but, um, she's a little bit of a turd for grooming, even though I am her groomer. Yeah. Um, her mom was much better than her. So I don't know where she got it from. <laughs> her father. It has to be the father. <laughs> We're actually stripping her father right now. We um, so no, I'm really, I'm really, really excited, um, that she finished. Of course, in my current litter, the Bitch that's I think gonna be the one that we might keep is another we in, <laughs> which I Don't said I, have, I said I didn't want another we in because I was like, I have one. I'd like to like have a brindle or another black. And of course she's very adorable. Um and the way it goes. God damn it. She is the only Wheaton in the whole litter, of course. So um at least I already have the practice. Yeah. I have <laughs> you know, so we'll see. We'll see. Maybe. I haven't decided. We have four puppies. I have no fucking clue what I'm gonna do with them. <laughs> I I can't decide. People ask me constantly. They're about to be 16 weeks, and I'm like, I don't I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I want to do. Somebody tell me what to do. Well, I'm very happy that you have your first bread by champion. Thank you. That's an awesome That's accomplishment. <laughs> it's a good feeling. But so it was a Bashan specialty. So I went up there for that. Yes. Um, and um, Lumi didn't do as well as he did on the, uh, on the specialty day. He got best opposite. <laughs> 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 Which means he was, they selected him as the best male. Yeah, no. So the dog who got breed pretty much every day except for one day, there were, Bashan's had five shows because there was two on Saturday. Uh, she comes all the yeah. way from um, Korea. And yeah. she is beautiful. She's a beautiful mover. She's got an adorable face. She's a really, she got West, she won the breed at Westminster last year. And at least got it doesn't court. feel bad when you know that the dog is like see, gorgeous. You're you like, seen oh, the dog okay. show up and is like, yeah, he was there. I was like, oh no, Peter's here. And <laughs> His name's <laughs> Peter? No, the, the handler. Owner, handler. Oh, the dog's handler. name is Mond. Yeah, it sounds she's, like it's a girl. She's mm -hmm. beautiful. She moves. She has got beautiful reach and she's smooth and she's just, she's pretty. She's the whole package. So I wasn't disappointed by, he still got a five point major that first day for, um, there was 22 Bashans and he yeah. got best opposite. So I was happy with that. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah. And people um, would kill for that. Yeah. So Tallulah, on the other hand, I really went up there for Tallulah cause she needs, she, there's majors for the, um, for the specialty. Right. Um, and, but I got up there and I saw that most of them were older bitches, right? So I was like, oh, she doesn't really have much of a chance. And How San Diego, she? uh, she's just she's almost 11 months. She's oh. going to be. She's a baby. She's going to be your and she all Yeah, she's just a baby. But um, they had some really pretty older dogs. And then two of them finished their championships. Um, actually, a lot of them are from Canada because it's so close mm, to Canada. Mm -hmm. So they come down here for um, to Washington for their uh, AKC. Um, grand champion or I mean championship points but anyway so there was a lot of open dogs to the higher levels and um, but two of the bitches finished there of theirs and then on the very last day which I wasn't even sure I was going to stay because we have me and Danica both worked Tuesday morning at 7 a.m. <laughs> and Bashan showed at one o'clock on on um, Monday and so, oh. so I think uh, weren't Scotty's at like 10 in the morning. Yeah, Scotty's <laughs> at 10. So I was like, am I even going to stay? And I was like, this is the last chance for her to get a major. It was only a three point major, but I was like, 
a major is a major. They need two majors to finish. Mm-hmm. And she got it. Nice. She, she got, got it. Yeah! She got the three point major and she got best of winners. So she even beat the other, the boy. Nice. So it was still three points. But so she got both her majors out of the way. So, and then yesterday we went to Carmel just for the day and she got uh, another one point. So she needs one more point and she'll be a champion. Already? Nice. Yeah. Nice. But I, my goal is to finish her. She just needs one point now. So, but sometimes you chase that last point forever. <laughs> But she needs one more point, and then she's finished, and then she's going away. Not going away, but she's going to just be a pet for a while, and we're going to work on some other titles. So that way I can show your baby mm. if you don't want to show her. I want you to show her, though. I think you'd look so cute out you there. Were. With your little tiny bichon. You're so tall. I just think of all the sweat. I know. Okay. <laughs> but I also, once I finish her, then she's going, because I want special her at least for a year or two. So, mm. And uh, special is a grand. Working on her grand and stuff, right? Because yeah. she's still she's so young. Yeah, she's young. Lumi finished. He was already a year and a half. So I was like, I just and I had no one else to show, so I just brought him out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I you want to let them like I'm mature, mature. And because they're I mean they're still maturing two to three years yeah. old. So letting them just kind of like come into their body and adult up. You well, Lumi is in the last like four or five months. He's really come around, mm-hmm. and Danica told me that he's still maturing and he oh, still yeah. probably won't be full his full maturity until he's like four mm-hmm. so you know and i'm working on his special career right now yeah um i just reached owner handler gold and i'm working on my platinum Ooh. now nice. how far is gold mm-hmm. away how far is it's gold? a thousand points of owner handler points what okay. gold or platinum gold uh, I and mean, what's platinum i think it's two thousand nice mm-hmm. but he's are now he should be at 1,200 points now. Do you get, do points build up faster or do you still go to a show and no, get like still, they're two points? But it's no. a f- no, 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 no. So owner handler points are different. They're okay. totally different. Okay. But they're way more. Okay. Yeah. I was like, that's yeah. going to so take forever. <laughs> in the ring, you, five points is the max for grand champion points. But Lumi just reached his bronze with that. So Very he's, his, he's at his grand champion bronze now. And nice. we're working on silver for that and gold for, i mean platinum for his owner handler nice. nice and i was ranking at number one but there's someone who's they're neck and neck with me and they just surpassed me so <laughs> now like there's this fire in me that yeah. is like i just want to be number one <laughs> but it closes in september so i'm trying go into anything i can between now and then she's spending right now all her money yeah all my money <laughs> okay, okay. But do we want to do like a what if soon. you want to do a what if yeah, I mean, because we've been just kind of like shooting the shit. So, what if your twelve-year-old self wrote your dating profile? <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> it would oh be so god. bad. Oh my god, my twelve-year-old self would be looking for girls because oh, yeah. I was still pretending to be. Well, I feel like I never. I don't know if I knew I was like gay, gay, mm-hmm. or like if I thought I was bi because mm-hmm. I I've, I always found women attractive. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if I. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows. I mean, I think it's, I think. Um, I maybe. mean, now I know I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, would, okay. So would you, I mean, uh, there's some gay dudes that are like, oh, I'd have sex with a woman. You just wouldn't. Th- there's some that I would. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know, I'm just curious, like, what does that feel like? Um, there. Okay. So sometimes when I watch um, adult films, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. sometimes I am paying more attention to the, to the woman. Mm-hmm. Oh. Um, but they get annoying. Like okay, I, I know they turn it on for yeah, the Yeah, I was going to say videos, to be fair, I, I get I annoyed. Deal. <laughs> I can't I like fa- I have no, I have to like fast forward like in oh, when I'm watching okay. certain videos I'm like, "Oh my god, stop." Shut up. Yeah. yeah. I'm just looking for that. I'm looking for certain things <laughs> and I don't I'm not watching for the storyline or for the I even turn or the, the two volume hour I turn jobs. the volumes all the way down. <laughs> I, yeah, and I'm not in it for the blow jobs either. Yeah. Yeah, they're the like so long. I'm like you know what? Well, clearly, that's my favorite part. <sighs> yeah, so. I was gonna say. I think it's different for you guys than it is for us. They just don't get it. They just don't get it. I wouldn't get it. No. Yeah, no. But sometimes I'm like, oh, that's a pretty vagina. Yeah. Like, you know. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, yeah. No, I agree. It's, I've never looked at a vagina and said, oh, so pretty. No. Mm-hmm. I'll send you some links. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I find he the whole thing. Mm-hmm. I find the whole thing intriguing. Both pieces together. I like it. Anyways. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So Wait, what, age, what age self? 
12. Oh, 12. That's right. I was like, what are we talking about? Yeah, I was, not, when I was a little weirdo at that age. Or maybe I was. What is that, seventh grade? That's like middle school. Oh my yeah, God. I was just like figuring stuff out. So well, it, was, it would not be good. It would not so be a good dating profile. I was I trying to be invisible. So I feel like at age 12, I just feel like we would have put like a bunch of lies, you know? So like, I'm not, sh- I'm like, what if? It would just be like. 25, male. <laughs> yeah. Super buff. Yeah. <laughs> Six foot two. Yeah. Uh, and then they would have seen me, and I'm like, hey, it's one? me. Yeah, let's do a different one. Yeah, yeah. maybe this yeah, one's do not a the vibe. One. <laughs> There's so many. Pick that one. That one? Yeah. That one's boring, though. What if you could live forever? Oh. I wouldn't want to. Yeah. I don't want to live forever. Unless everybody I knew or wanted to live forever would live forever with me. Yeah, that's, see, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to live forever and like watch my fucking family die. Oh, what if you could talk to animals? <gasps> that would be so cool. I, I find our job very annoying, probably. I yeah. don't know. Really? No, but if if you could talk to animals, then you could actually tell them, knock it off. It's okay. I'm not trying to cut your foot off. Yeah, I would love talking to animals. Would the animals be able to talk to everybody or just us? Because like, if they go home and tell their parents everything we talked about. Oh, in that's the show. true. Just to us. Just to okay. us. Because like we have the power. You yeah. know what's crazy, though, is that you literally can talk to animals. They just don't understand you. <laughs> <laughs> True. Well, yeah. I think about that all the time, so. though. Like when I'm going to get my hair done, I'm thinking like, I wonder if like I'll be talking and then I'm like, I wonder if she finds me annoying right now. Or like, does she want to complain about me right now? And she can't because I'm sitting right here. You know what I mean? Like maybe uh, I don't know. <laughs> those are the I'm like, I could never do this job because like we're like watching, you know, we see like the door close and we watch them walk down the stairs. And then we're like, oh, my God. Some, sometimes if people bring like. Like a small dog, if they bring in like a carrier and like, oh, here's the bag with their like toys or whatever. I don't know why I always assume that it's like bugged and they can <laughs> oh. like hear me. I yeah. So if they I come with a whole bunch of stuff, I make sure to not say anything bad around their stuff just in case. Oh. Like I've thought of that so that many times. No, I've thought about it's that too. a little too. paranoid. No, because <laughs> I've even thought paranoid. about that with collars I've sometimes. Think, yeah. Sometimes I'm like, oh my God, what if there's something on this collar? And then I, like, I get weird like that too. And then, um, no, I totally agree. Yeah. Now I want to take my dog to the vet in a carrier. <laughs> Leave it there. <laughs> oh, what about um, just recently? Um, we had a um, client and a phone call that um, Nathan did not handle the best that he could have handled. That oh, was yeah. We were gonna call that, that was uh, well. Damn. Okay, so to be fair, I told right? her to not come back. I said you don't have to come. No. Back. Okay, so the way that this this was um, it. it was a doodle, right? And it had been to our salon That's two times. One. Yeah, it had been to our salon two times previously, and so she had like called in the morning and she was like oh um do you guys have time for a bath today i'm getting my hair done at the salon next door and i looked and we did have time for a bath and she was like i just want a bath and i was like okay like you know that's fine right because she's like i don't need a haircut and i looked and she had been in the salon like three weeks prior so i was (laughs) like okay you know um and i didn't i've never done this dog before like i said it only been in two times prior um but the you know my employees let me know the first time that she had come in um the dog was matted and she was like they said they had to like argue back and forth with her about having to shave this dog she didn't want it shaved she want you know like Mm -hmm. and they had to explain it's matted and we can't brush it out blah 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 to the point where and this was ashley and she's like the nicest and she's um experienced so she knows how to talk to clients properly um, and another groomer had to like come out and help her because like she was getting to the point where she was going to be like, we can't service your dog, which I don't think I've ever seen her do. She's, she's like, like she was the shaking. sweetest. She, just, she was so like the lady's just like, no, no. Every and doodle has listen. curly hair. Yeah. No, would not they listen. all get brushed out. No. Like she just, that's the type of like. So mm-hmm. she ended up agreeing and the husband was there and he like, the husband told he was understood. like reasonable. And so then the next time the dog came in, um, Drake had taken care of it, but then I guess upon pickup, she was upset because the coat was straight and like they should be natural and blah, blah, you know what I mean? And so we're like, okay, like we can like, so this time Nathan was like, I'll talk to her when she comes in. Cause I was like, I'm worried it's matted. Right. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, so Nathan told her like, Hey, there are some tangles on your dog. Cause it, it was, it wasn't like matted enough. No, it I needed said your to dog be is tangled. Like there's the rear legs are tangled. So like you have to pay attention to this. Right. And I said, we could bathe them. 
Because she didn't like, want it blow dried because she didn't want it straight. So or I was like, afterwards. I was like, the matting isn't bad enough to where we can't bathe it, but like we'll brush the matting, we'll brush it out before the bath. Which we don't normally do because it can break co yeah. and it's harder and to then, brush when it's dirty. And then we'll bathe the dog, but and, and then let it air dry, right? So he was he was like super honest at check in about like everything. Mm-hmm. And but then the lady calls and she's like, I got the bill. And it was closer to, it was the regular bath price, right? Right. But it wasn't like that much cheaper than her haircut because it took a long time for them to brush out the tangles, especially She's because like, it was well, dirty. I didn't tell you to do, she goes, I didn't tell you to do any of that. I said, well, we can't do the serve. We can't bathe and just let your dog air dry if it has tangles in it. Because like, it's just going to get worse. We just don't do that here, mm-hmm. right? I'm not going to. And she goes like, well, that's what you, we talked about. And I said, no. well, ma'am, I was, I was the one who spoke to you. So it wasn't someone else because mm-hmm. I know what she was doing and she was trying to like, well, and then she was she trying tried to make to it say, out to be like, I wasn't the one that spoke to her so she could play stupid. Yeah. Right. And I, she has a way of speaking that is very condescending and, and very degrading. like entitled. And it's, she's not really like saying anything mean, but it's just like her tone and the, mm. the little cues that she gives are very, very well, and then she mentioned Oh, that's almost worse sometimes. Well, and then she mentioned the price, right? Because she tried to say it was more expensive and that we were putting gratuity on, but that's not like this, the online system. It gives you the option. Like it'll automatically like yeah, and she's put like, no, the tip on, but on there's there. a no, button no, that right. you can click that says, says no, no tip, tip. Or, <laughs> t- or custom tip. Or, and she's so like, I didn't want this. It. So then I said... I'm sorry ma- about that, ma'am. You could come here, get your get your dog. I'll refund you, and you can find somewhere else that will, like, do, do it the way you want. Do it the way you want. Mm-hmm. Um, but like, it. we don't do it yeah. there. <laughs> I just I told him it was just the phrasing, uh, you know, because I was like, I don't disagree with you, you know, but I I think he was flustered because um, of the way that she was talking. Um, I would have probably said, like, you know, I, I understand what you're saying. Unfortunately, I'm not the type to get worked up. But no, I he's was not. He was up. worked up. Well, and I mean, maybe if it was the first time, but it was a third time. Third, third time. Every time. single she's had a time problem. she every comes time. in. And so I just said, and like, she's like, oh, she comes in. I'm so disappointed. You no. came. You came so highly recommended, and I, and she goes, but you telling me not to come back. And I said, ma'am, I didn't say don't come back. I said you can come get a. Re- you can come and not pay, and, I'll, and you can find somewhere else. I yeah. never said, don't come back. Yeah. And she goes, you told me not to come back. They heard it. And I said, do not put w- – I was at this, at this point, I'm mad. Yeah. I'm like, I did, do not put words in my mouth. I did not tell you to, to not come back. I said, you can find somewhere that will do it the way you want. Yeah. And, yeah, she, and then she, so she's upset, and I'm upset, and I'm like, but I'm not going to, like, get – Fucking out. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, well, it actually, so when she came in, I was like, oh, I'll handle it because I could tell he was upset. And I go out there and I'm like, oh, are you picking up? You know, and she's like, I'm here for blah, blah, blah. And then I was like, okay, uh, you know, um, I'll get him, you know, I'll check you out and get you ready. And then she's like, no, I want to talk to Nathan. He knows why. Yeah. And I was like, let's go. Okay, but I the only thing I said was like I think that um, the That's way fine, I it's think the, the way this isn't the first place she's been kicked out of. Right? 100%. No, 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 I'm sure. But I I said I I thought the only thing you could have done was like just your presentation of how you said it. Like you could have said, you know, I'm unfortunately that is how we run our salon. Um, you know, it, it seems like we might not be the right fit for you. Um, you know, that is the way that we do it. So I'll make a note in your file that you've been like told multiple times that that's how we do things um oh and you know, the guy the cat guy <gasps> oh yeah okay oh, but anyway so she left i'm sure we'll never see her again we'll see Good. if we get um, we'll, we'll see if we hopefully. get a bad review out of it i'm not sure um but yeah the cat guy came back yeah the so one the, that made the lewd gesture to katie yeah he yeah. came back oh that's right well of course i like just walk out from the back and he's standing in the lobby with nathan and i didn't register who it was so i like smiled then realized and was like fuck fuck, like, fuck 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 and i like ran into the groom room and like shut the top so i was like oh why don't you step outside with me and he's like oh, okay yeah and he steps out under the under the porch and i'm there with him and i'm like we can't service you no more I said, last time we went to your house, you made my wife super uncomfortable. And he's like, what What do you mean? And I said, when you did this. And he goes, oh, shit. Yeah. He's like, I fucked up, huh? And I said, yeah, you fucked up. Yeah. And he goes, well, can I apologize? He's like, can I apologize to her? And I'm like, no. Um, that's just it. And I said, she's my wife. And, you know, like, 
I'm not going to come to your house. No one from here is. So, like, yeah, I'm sorry about that. But, like, it was totally unacceptable. And he's like, he's like an old dude. I'm like, no, he's not, not that old. old. He's like old, in his 50s. But yes. he's old. And guy was shaking. He was shaking. He was so, like, scared. And I'm like, I'm not going to, like, beat you, know, you, beat you up. You know? Yeah. Were you talking to him, like, like this? Face to, we were only. No, but were you like, that yeah. was my wife? Or no, I was, we were talk, I was talking Just to him like, like I'm talking to you now. Okay. Because I really, I mean. I'm, you know, I'm not, I'm upset, but like, I'm not going to threaten some old guy, yeah. you yeah, know? Yeah. Well, it's pointless. So I was like, yeah. you, so I'm, you know, we can't service you. I didn't apologize though. So I was, I was like, but you know, um, I hope you find a place that can do it. And she, and he's like, tell her I'm so sorry. And, um, tell her, uh, this and that. I know she probably doesn't want to speak to me, but tell her, I know I fucked up and I won't like, uh, I, I, it was a real big mistake and I know on and on and on. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, okay, right, well later, you yeah. know? You just like Bye. wait there until he walked away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was funny though. His chest puffed out. Well, it was back. funny though. I went like this. I went like this. I was like, "Good luck." <laughs> Tapped him on his shoulder, you know, and then. Well, like he was um, on his way, but uh, now he has to go home and tell his wife, wife why yeah. he yeah. got kicked out. I'm sure he won't, uh, or she are, has already dealt with it in the He's past. He's the guy that's like always talking about how his, him and his wife are like at odds or some sh- bullshit, you know. I wonder why. <laughs> I yeah. know. Well, you know, it was funny, though, because I was like, oh, no, just in case he, like, is arguing with Nathan, I'm all, Drake, can you go out there? Because, like, <laughs> none of us girls want to go out, yeah. and you made felt uncomfortable. Um, but just in case, you know, I actually expected him to put up a fight, so I was really surprised that he was like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. Um, I mean, I'm glad that he didn't, you know. Part of me, of course, is like, I hope I don't bump into him on the street just yeah. because... I am a girl, and that's always what goes through my head is, like, he was fine now, but as he starts thinking about it or presented with just me, will I he behave he differently? Do, I think what he would do is come up to you and try to apologize to you, which would just make you uncomfortable again. Yeah. I Yeah. Like this, well, and that's why we discussed it previously where I said, like, I don't want to talk to him. Mm-hmm. I don't want um, that confrontation because I'm already just so uncomfortable about the situation. I don't want to deal with it. But I am very grateful that you were honest with him because there, even just knowing he was out there telling him made me feel like sick. You know, even though I knew it was the right thing to do yeah. for him to say, this is why we're no longer servicing you, it made me fucking sick. I was like, what? You know, like to be just even in that position sucks, you know? So, but I am Whatever. grateful that you did it um, because he deserved to know that that was why, that that behavior was not cool and unacceptable as a professional in this field yeah i would do the same thing if it was any one of the girls at the salon though you know but yeah but that's, that's what my I'm wife saying. especially like yeah well bro, that just made it literally it. behind you yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, un- i told him on if i would have been if i would have noticed you've done you did that when we were there it would have went differently and mm-hmm. he goes i understand <laughs> Maybe that's why he started shaking. Because I, I just, I was talking to him very nice. <laughs> Threatened him? I was talking to him very nicely, but matter of fact. Yeah. Because, yeah. because like, I don't want to sugarcoat it. Like, yeah. no, you fucking. Yeah. He doesn't deserve that. Well, it's just, no, it's unacceptable for any, any he person in any field. He wouldn't know? learn a lesson. He didn't learn a lesson from this, probably. With that personality. Maybe. Nope. All right. Well, this, uh, this episode started differently than how it ended, <laughs> but thank you for sticking with us. We had so much fun, and we will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.